Hey everybody, welcome to the next commentary. Today we're playing some AP Volibear mid versus a Victor. And we are two wins from challengers. So, the off meta climb. Um, if I win this game, we will be one win from challenger, which will be tomorrow's video. If I lose, obviously, I'm going to be having to grind again. I could lose five in a row right now, and that might influence like how close I am. But currently, we are two wins away from challenger i think ap Volibear bear sucks because whenever i play it i always fail so if we win this game i'll be impressed because i never have a good game of ap Volibear. bear it never works out for me it's just maybe a mental block or something uh but he has good ap ratios his uh passive is a 50 percent on every single hit and it uh can hit multiple people at once i'm taking lethal tempo and uh healing runes because we're gonna go rift maker but yeah, using your E from Brush is really nice, but uh, it's easier to do top lane than mid lane because mid lane, you are just barely out of range of the full uh, wave, so kind of sucky. That's really good. Being able to make it so I can get the CS without getting hit at all is huge. Plus, we got his first strike, and that's a little bit less damage as well. Uh, your E is very delayed, but oh, thank God I got that too. Uh, they don't see the initial start of it. It's kind of weird. I don't know how to explain it very well, but... Oh my god, that was absolutely huge trade. <clears throat> so I decided to go Q next so I can stun him inside of my E. Your E has a good AP ratio. It also gives you a gigantic shield based off your max HP, but it also does max HP of the opponent as well. So it hits really damn hard during the early game. That being said, the delay is so long to the point that a lot of times uh, people can just walk away from you. Oh wow, you got me, dang. So yeah, uh, how Volibear's passive works is that you get bonus attack speed every single auto attack, and then once you have five auto attacks, uh, your lightning chains onto everything, so you get bonus uh, on-hit damage, and it hits multiple people at once. You can see sometimes it goes to him. Feels really great. Uh, it gives you good push power, nice on-hit damage, that's why lethal tempo is so strong. <clears throat> I think W Max is still the best thing that you can possibly do. Wow, my movement speed is so short. So I'm just gonna shove out and reset maybe. Guy's dead. My ghost here goes so hard, by the way. I don't have enough mana, but if we get to fight in River and I have lethal tempo stacked, I will just automatically win. Like, the thing is about Volibear is my damage is absolutely ridiculous because it's not just the bonus magic damage on your hit, but you get bonus attack speed as well. So I have two things which are really broken during the early game, which is number one, lethal tempo is already a ridiculously good rune for any auto attacker because normally if you're fighting anybody, your attack speed ramping is more broken early game than any other character in the game. Having first strike, electrocute, whatever it might be, is completely useless compared to the power of lethal tempo. But I have basically double stacking lethal tempo to the point that my attack speed is so damn high that I'll be able to beat anybody in a 1v1. So. Oh wow, that hit him? Cool. Let's just try to push these out, to be honest. I'm 
I'm just going to keep up my attack speed ramping. I'm just going to use it on the wave because I'm not going to get those minions otherwise. So yeah, the whole entire idea is mostly attack speed damage. Uh, your E maxing it is pretty dumb because normally it just doesn't really work out very well. Honestly, if I was confident, I could totally tower dive this guy. Volibear ultimate does a huge amount of damage if you hit the center of it, but also disables towers for like three seconds. So if I fully stack and then go under tower, I will hit really, really damn hard. I'm just gonna get a shield there, so shouldn't be able to get hit that hard. I guess I'll rotate bot. I don't really know if I can get there in time though. You guys win. The other guy's gone, sadly. I can't really chase that guy down. I wonder if they would try to fight me. Don't have ultimate anymore. We're going to go Nasher's Tooth, so then it's going to make it so we have a 50% AP ratio on our Lightning hit, plus another 20%. So then when we're auto-attacking people, it's just going to be really, really, really high. I think that going Merc Treads is very valuable. We are a melee character. We can get kited very easily. Uh, with your W, it is a auto-attack, uh, kind of. Just consider it like an auto-attack. And um, it marks them for 8 seconds, and if you can do it against the same target, you heal for percent of missing HP. Um, it has no AP scaling on it, but it does proc on hits, so it helps out with uh, your Relentless Storm. Okay, we have that shoved out. Nice. I was able to keep up the storm so I can start hitting this as well, which is really good. Are you going to die before I get there? No. Really, dude? I can't get to my E in time? That sucks. The Gwen is so fed, I didn't even realize. That was a mistake by me, obviously. If I had my E in the correct spot, we could have fought easily. I probably won, so... Pretty sad. That actually might be, like... Okay, nice, that's a really good kill. I'm really worried about Gwen. I, I mean, she's a amazing duelist. I'm a good duelist, too, obviously, but... To throw away my lead always sucks, especially inside a high elo. Throwing away your lead is so bad. If I kept my E on top of myself just a little bit better, I probably could have uh, gotten a shield. That's what I wanted to do, but it just takes... I'm not used to uh, taking so long to fall, you know? I'm not used to it at all. I also didn't W Gwen, too, so... My bad. E max second for movement speed. Bard's just running around. So you can use your E from Brush. Sometimes you can hit somebody. Okay, God is Flash. That's, I, in my opinion, worth it, getting flash there. I don't know if we can contest this, man. I just use my ult. Yeah, this is not possible. But it was a good attempt, though. We did get a lot of good sums and stuff, too, which is great. Victor, no flash mid. It's only one dragon. So it's not like the end of the world for us, in my opinion.
We'll just uh, clear this out real fast. One is worth a lot of gold top. Your ultimate is a very long cooldown, so kind of sucks a little bit, because uh, once you use it, you just don't have it for a significantly long time. But I'm feeling pretty confident right now in my fighting. My biggest threat is crowd control, I would say. I really want to kill this Gwen top. I feel like it's possible to, if we all stack. Wow, I killed that actually pretty fast. 70 damage on hit is actually kind of ridiculous. Especially with AoE as well. I think Bard's coming, right? Yeah, he is. Oh. You guys are crushing it. Yeah, this guy's dead. He can't run away from this. Kind of want the kill, though. <laughs> Whoops, I didn't mean to blast cone there. I probably didn't need to pop ghost. I didn't even realize that Vigar TP'd in. My wave, dude. It's fine. At least I get to play it. Plus, I'm going to have a Nasher's Tooth now, too. Happy I did that. So when he TPs in, we know he has no flash from last time. So if I just pop absolutely everything, we're probably just going to kill him. Because I know my damage is ridiculously high. Another thing is that your ultimate is an unstoppable ultimate. Meaning you literally cannot be CC'd during it. So what you can do is that how Victor Gravity Field works is that uh, like it stacks over 0.5 seconds. And after three stacks, you get stunned, basically. So if you're just inside the field for a few seconds, you'll get stunned. Not a few seconds, just like one second. So if I uh, use my ultimate during the point where you're supposed to get stunned, it just doesn't stun you and will never stun you again because that's the point that you're basically unseeable. So it's a neat trick you can do versus them. If you ever have something that's like anti-CC, like let's say you're playing Morgana with Black Shield, if you use Black Shield inside a Victor Gravity Field, you will never get stunned again, because you only get stunned once. Okay. That guy just got executed and didn't die. No way! No way, no way. How did he kill? I cannot believe that. We're kind of winning pretty hard now, so they're probably just gonna FF. A lot of times in high elo, if people are really having a bad time, they just give up. And I mean, their mid lane is not having a good time at all. Did I just jinx it? No. Yeah, I did. Hmm. Guess I'll come over. I don't know if I needed to do that. It didn't look like Daisy was really going to reach him, so whatever. Uh, they have no idea I'm in here. <laughs> I was waiting for Viego to rotate over to try to take his Raptors because then I'd be fully stacked. But Is there any way for me to run away from this? Heal me? Oh, thank you. Jeez, dude. I get slowed so hard by those guys. It's ridiculous. Uh, I'm just going to E the wave and get some of it. And then I'll just base. So what's really nice about Riftmaker is firstly it gives you HP. Volbear has a lot of HP scaling. His damage, you can see a little green heart. That's HP scaling. Um, not to mention there's something important, which I learned because I watched the, like one of the top lane AP Volibear guides. Um, your Omni Vamp has a reduced effect on AoE abilities. Uh, his Chain Lightning, which... Uh, hits four people does not count as AoE. So you actually get the full amount of Omnivamp from Riftmaker, which is incredible, meaning that you just have really good healing when chaining does happen, including on minions and stuff. So 
Uh, I think that they kill bot, so I'm just gonna go mid. Twitch might jump on me here, but I can just uh, go for the wave. Your ultimate also has a good AP ratio on it, 125%. So right now, if I hit my ultimate, it deals 750 damage. It's not the easiest to hit, though. Yeah, I think that there's, like, a bunch of people mid. I feel like I was about to get baited because that was really suspicious that even though I'm so strong, they just turned around and were getting ready to fight me. I just saw Twitch also show up like here, so he's in the area and stealthed. Eh, it's not worth chasing him. Sorry, but you have like 50 people here, so yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, that was a pretty insane cage into everybody's AoE. <laughs> I don't really do that much there. <laughs> Alright, I can't get this guy. It's too hard. Oh, cool. Cage, though. Catching a Twitch is rough. At least we have our item, though. have Rift Makers, so now we'll have a really good healing. The next item would normally be you just split push for the rest of the game and just fight people who come with uh, Hold Breaker, but I, I'll try to go for a team fighting oriented build, which honestly I have no idea what to build next. Demonic could be okay. I suppose. That's so lame, dude. Gwen is just a way better duelist, I guess. I mean, I didn't have my ultimate, though. She also has Ignite, too. So Ignite plus ultimate. Barely get her to win. That was really close. Twitch really is going to live with 1 HP? Nice job, guys. Nice job. My E didn't hit her, but I mean, it's pretty easy to run away from it. I actually completely crush her if I have ultimate, especially if I land the damage portion of it, too. You need to sit down, Gwen. Sorry. I'm upset about my death, so you just have to die here. We gave up so many objective bounties, by the way. They got like three because they didn't fall off fast enough, so I wouldn't be surprised if they're super close in gold, although this Victor is really useless because he's one in seven, so he might be auto killed to be honest. I can look after the game. But most of the people in this lobby are challenger. Sucks that I'm not gonna have my ultimate for next fight. Wow, that was some incredible damage, actually. I think we should just do the dragon when it spawns. I'm not gonna overchase just because. I don't think Volbear is very good at running at people. Like, I get bonus movement speed when I run at people, but it's pretty insignificant. And also, they have really good, like, peel with Victor, 
uh, his little W and stuff like that, so. It's just not worth it, in my opinion, to do it. I do think that going for this item is going to be good. It's just because it gives you HP, which is nice too, which just helps out overall. We do this really fast, so they better contest quick. The enemy team, if they want to stop it. Oh, okay. That's one way to get them close, huh? The Vigar kind of walks straight into the uh, Viego there pretty hard, so giving Viego any reset is really, really bad. Um, so it ended up super bad fight for us. We lose Baron, everybody's dead, the Victor's still dying. <laughs> the Twitch is a big issue. The Senna should have never flashed forward to try to kill him the way that she did, in my opinion. That was just bad. Not the Viego resets, bro. The Viego resets go so hard. What do I want to build? I'll still do it. I'm doing it. I'll make it so I'm just uh, still doing a lot of damage, but a little bit tanky. So if Twitch dies in a team fight, I think we just win. So that's really all that matters. I mean, Gwen matters a little bit as well, but... hundred and sixty seven on hit plus sixty six so two hundred damage every single auto attack basically. I'm not gonna go into river. I guess I could get collapsed on because they have Baron it makes it kind of difficult to be safe all the time now. Twitch has three items. Twitch is a really good champion for carrying too. It's really scary. He's probably going to E this brush, right? Yeah, Twitch has killed everybody. Man, I don't even one-shot the wave. Damn. The enemy team scaling is actually so ridiculous. It's getting really hard to win the game now. I'm going to buy an Iron Pot. I guess we just give everything. I mean, there's not really much that we can do without our Vigar. Volver Ultimate doesn't like going over walls very well, does it? And there goes my ultimate forever, man. It even shows that it's gonna go over there, like the thingy. Oh, that's so sad, dude. I would say that most champions have quality of life features to make it so you can go over walls kind of easily. I guess Volver is the opposite. Because I feel like a lot of champions would have made it. Oh, well. Me not having ultimate anymore actually sucks so bad.
Wow, he flashed too. That's sick. Although... Everybody else got caught. Dang, it might be game over. I don't know if I can defend this, actually. Yeah, Viego's too strong. I cleared the wave, though. Nice, he died. I, I wanted to just hopefully make it so that he just couldn't push while doing a decent amount of damage. This Viego is kind of a problem, though. This Viego is definitely a big issue. His damage is insane compared to everybody else. Like, nobody else is even close damage-wise to him. We get the dragon? That'd be pretty nice. Sucks that I don't have flash, but neither does Twitch, I guess, for next team fight. I'll probably try to play really aggressive next fight. I'm not gonna sit back anymore. I'll just go in and just hope that I can do enough damage while I go in to kill some. Because I don't really like how the game is going. I feel like it might be possible. Is Viego gonna come for me? Viego gets a transform. Will he go for it? Yeah. God, he used his ultimate to stop the Vigar stun. He just buffered his ability. That's so dumb. Okay, Gwen. Okay, Gwen. Dang. Now it's over. I didn't want to use my ultimate for one person that, like, is literally 2v1-ing. Just sucks. Vigar damage doesn't really deal that much. Oof. Oh my god. If we don't lose the game, that's so good. Gwen is an absolute beast. I think the this item kind of sucks on Volbear. I think I should probably go something else. I mean, Nash's Tooth does do a lot, but that's about it. I guess I'll build, like, a Spirit Visage or something. That could be decent, I guess. They definitely get Baron, right? So there's no reason to go over there. I have Ghost in 30. If I can just sit inside of a brush side lane and just wait for them to go in, maybe I could try to land uh, something on Twitch. Although I think his Flash is back up. Really, I didn't get that. Oh, there's no way to play this, dude. I died so damn fast. That was ridiculous. Item damage, almost a thousand in like, what felt like half of a second. God, that's so dumb. They have so much magic resist too. I was really worried with our team comp. I asked in champion select to play a traditional AD carry because itemization versus us is really easy. You just build Negatron Cloak and now nobody deals any damage. Until they build Void Staff, but Vigar's not even close.
All right, well, Viego kind of hits me for 2,001 combo, so... At least I'm 16, which is what I wanted to get inside the first place. Because I feel like the only way that we can ever do anything is me being level 16. So now at least I have some bonus health when I ulti to like make it so I can live potentially. How many stacks do you have? 230? Hmm. When split pushing, she has a force of nature. Yikes. She's kind of invincible, I would say, versus us. I wonder who's going to kill her. Okay, we got her ultimate, which is good. But is other side just dying? Yeah, it's not even close, man. Dang, well, we lose. <sighs> Dang, we tried. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the commentary. Regardless, I think I did a pretty good job. I just think that our team comp sucks. Mid-gap, yeah. Victor really carried the game here, so. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully, guys enjoyed it. I mean, I tried the best. I said that Volibear is cursed. It's cursed playing this champion. Whenever I play it, it always goes poorly some way, even if I do good, so. Unfortunate. My bot death maybe was the only reason why Gwen got fed in the first plate. I mean, she was already pretty strong, but... Anyways, thanks for watching once again. And I'll see you guys in the next commentary. Bye. Hey everybody, welcome to the next commentary. As you guys just saw, I just lost the Volibear mid, so now we have to win, unfortunately, three games. So I'm going to play an Elise mid game versus Tristana. It's actually just swap junglers from last game, so... Now I don't have the Ivern, and now I have the Viego. Ivern really played well, though. So we'll see what happens this game. Uh, I needed to pick an AP pick. I almost wanted to play Briar mid or give Volibear another... Ch I mean, I guess a Volibear would have been AP as well, but I mean, I would have played versus Tristana, which is difficult. So uh, the runes that I'm running this game, I didn't get to do it. Uh, so I have Conquer, Presence of Mind, Attack Speed... And the bonus damage when they get low with Magical Footwear and Cosmic Insight. Hopefully being able to abuse those. But Conqueror is good on Elise because your Spider Form stacks it pretty fast. So you have really good consistent damage actually on Elise. Your consistent damage is very high. What does she have? Dorns? Yeah, see? Like, Tristana thinks that I'm, like, a pushover, but I'm not. My champion is ridiculous early on. I might get ganked early on. I almost want to flash and ignite, but at the same time, if Ivern's behind her and shields her, I'm, I just get baited. And then I probably don't kill. Nice. I decided to just do it because I have a... Cosmic Insight, so... My wave is, like, super bad, but we got a kill, so... Eh, Tristana also can't freeze very easily because her E explosive shot, like, screws up the wave pretty bad. 
I normally don't take Magical Footwear on Elise. The reason for going for it is just to not have to spend money on boots so I can try to buy um, AP, like ASAP if I get fed, and just try to like snowball really hard. So that was my thought process on it this game. Not to mention Cosmic Insight's really good because uh, having lower cooldown on Flash is kind of broken. My, my Flash is... Uh, 40 second difference between everybody else's like everybody else's 300 second that doesn't have the rune and mine's way shorter I feel like uh iron's mid yeah i mean i'm okay you guys can't punish me that bad I'm going to try to hit some of these with my autos because I get that healing while inside a spider form a little bit, so. Dang, she took a turret shot. That's really nice. I don't want to use my human form that much on the minion wave because it costs so much mana on Elise to use your abilities. What? You got fleet footwork? I messed up one auto attack, but she messed up way harder than me. I cannot believe it. She lived? That is so unfortunate, dude. This guy's challenger, wow. Challenger Tristana mid. That was another kill, man. That was another kill. That is so sad, dude. <laughs> oh, well, I guess. Oh, well. We're always going to be inside a spider form when walking around since we get bonus movement speed. Me not getting that kill is actually kind of gigantic because Tristana scaling is actually pretty good, so. That sucks. I'm a bit disappointed right now. Oh well. What? Why would she ever go in? This Tristana is really playing like a psycho. <laughs> I mean, that's... She went into me when I still have Repel, and like, I'm not even low. <laughs> so... I just don't really understand that. understand that at all. Can you beat me in a 1v1? Or do I actually out-heal you? She used her E, so... This is my time where I'm actually not in a bad position. Nice stun. I have enough for like one more rotation of abilities if she jumps on me. I can just uh, probably land my stun, I think. Is Ivern sitting behind you? Ivern normally has a lot of free time because he clears camps kind of quickly and he can just leave them. So a lot of times he can just sit around behind people and just wait for a fight to break out. So that's why he's mid so much. Dang. Tried landing it. I 
Ivern just did Raptors, so I literally think that he's either on Rift Herald, but he's somewhere topside. That's why I'm playing so hard bot. If Tristana wants to jump on me, then... I did? No. That is shoved out. I'm just gonna base. I'm pretty happy about Tristana dying. That is good. I have a lot of Dark Seal stacks, which is also very nice. Tristana is building Magic Resist. My bot lane is also performing well. The only person losing is top right. And it's just barely. There's one death. I have Magical Footwear now, so now I'm even faster. And I didn't have to buy it, so just can finish my item. I'm just gonna uh, Q her and then repel away, so I dodge the tower shot and get good poke off. I know that there's a bot fight going on, but I wonder if they can just win without me. Because I want to keep the pressure up. This pressure is so large to the point that she probably can't even step back up. Which is huge because she's going to miss a gigantic wave. So she's pretty screwed now. This should be like a game winning play for me. Tristana should be useless for most of this game at this point. This is such a bad thing for her. Losing this big of a wave is just like an automatic loss. So. Man, really? Okay, good. I dodged the uh, Ivern ability. Otherwise, it would have really gotten destroyed. So, thankful for that. Bard doesn't have ultimate, sadly. So, he can't defend that. <laughs> but, we're, we're in a really good position. I mean, just look at our Balling. Balling is really fed, so. And, and she's dead, maybe? I'm going to go top. This Darius can just have mid. I mean, this guy has no magic resist, so I could probably shred him pretty damn hard. He is really fast, though. Oh, you missed, dang. If he didn't miss that, we might have been able to catch him. It's actually pretty good for me. I mean, I can just continue going against him. It's fine. As you can see, it's super easy to dive. Even a Malphite, he even burned his flash. Because once he gets low, like below half, we can just spider form ignite and just bite him since uh, spider form does that missing percent with at least the human form dealing current, so better versus high HP and spider dealing missing, so when they're low you just finish them off. 
And now we just got to do whatever we want again. We can just continue shoving out. Botlane is throwing a little bit. Did Zeri die? Zeri's worth 1k, by the way, so if she dies, it's really bad. Okay, good, she didn't. I just got so many plays for myself. Oh my god, she literally killed everybody. Malphite does have his ultimate now. So if he does fight me... You should never underestimate Malphite damage. It's really high, actually. So I'm just not gonna do anything. I'm just gonna leave. I'm pretty happy with what I got. 2,000 gold. We'll just go for pure damage at this point. Nasher's Tooth could be pretty good. I think I'm going to go for it. What's so good about Nasher's Tooth is that Elise has that on-hit damage from uh, her W giving her attack speed. And then I have Conquer. And your Q does on-hit, so it procs Lich Bane. And on-hit also includes the Nasher's Tooth, so it's actually a really good item for Elise. I guess I can go mid. Maybe I should just went behind the guy top because I kind of just waste my time here when there's already a teammate here too. <laughs> I like how Elise is kind of similar to Volibear because we both have the on hit magic damage and it's actually super similar. Volibear's is way higher, though. Volibear's on hit damage is 50%. At least it's only 20% for the AP ratio on it. <clears throat> You're probably going to send your teammate, right? Like, Ivern could be, like, at your golems or something. I just kind of destroyed that guy. My Night Harvester came back up. So, because I had Night Harvester, I also just deal so much damage to uh, the Tristana as well. Yeah, you don't need to go, uh, like, an item that gives you, like, Lich Bane and stuff. What the hell? What am I saying? You don't need to go a Lost Chapter item. Lich Bane, I guess they both start with L. Anyways, you don't need to go Lich Bane. I, I said it again. It's I guess it's on my brain. Uh, anyways, when I go Presence of Mind, then I don't really have too bad of mana issues. You could totally go Biscuits as well, because I did take the Resolve tr the Inspiration Tree. I, I guess I'm just talking at this point. My brain just doesn't function. I don't know what's going on. I have my uh, Nasher's Tooth pretty soon, though. I kind of want to stick around until it's done. This is probably a 15-minute game. They're probably going to FF pretty soon. Which is also, uh, if I want to talk about, like, recordings and stuff, um, this is one of the issues that I have. Sometimes games are so quick that I would just not upload this game as a main channel game because it's just too fast. can definitely kill that. I'm just gonna kill Daisy because it's so hard to fight her. She does so much damage. How much do I heal for per auto? 26 HP. That's so good. Although it doesn't work on towers. Because my 
that's a kind of weird interaction, but basically, I only get healed if my spider form passive goes off. So because towers can't get hit by that, I don't get healed. <laughs> that's weird, actually. I was, like, wondering why towers weren't healing me, and now it kind of makes sense. Only do you get healed if you actually hit the passive part of it. Hmm. Uh, next item should probably be, like, a... I don't know, I can just go with Zhonya's, I guess. It's really nice to have this 10-stack Dark Seal, so losing it would be kind of bad. So... I imagine this Malphite, by the way, who has 400 armor but 65 MR, just gets destroyed, right? There's no way he can kill me. My auto attack speed is insane now, when I pop my W. Am I fast enough to chase you, or is I even going to show up? Okay, I got his flash. My spider can't go over the wall. Hey! Still hit him, though. Not bad, not bad. Oh, the FF, GG. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the commentary of me getting back to two wins from Challenger again in the off-meta climb. So, back to two wins away. Um, Very close. Very, very close. Because around 630 LP is, I think, uh, what we need to get to. You can give it to Bard. So, when I win one game, I'll be, like, so close to Challenger, and then I probably need one more. So, damage dealt pretty high, not as much as Zeri. Thanks for watching, guys. If you guys enjoy full game commentaries, be sure to like and subscribe if that's what you enjoy. Alright, peace out. Bye.